the first part of sample paper three for level one functional skills from City and Girls. You can't use a calculator for this part and there is a total of 15 marks for this. Looking at question number one, 4.7 times 1,000. What is that equal to? As we're multiplying 4.7 by 1,000, that means the number will get 1,000 times bigger. So from 4.7, the decimal point will move three spaces to the right to make this number bigger. So there we go. One, two, three. We have no digits in here, so we're going to put zeros in. So this becomes now 4,700. We don't need to put the decimal point at the end. You can also do 4.7 times 1,000 and it will give you the same answer. And that is 4,700. In the second question, we've got 16 and 2 thirds is the same as. Which one of these options? So we're basically converting a mixed number into a fraction. We've got 16 holes and 2 thirds. So how many thirds do we have in total? We have two thirds already. 16 holes, how many thirds will that be? So one hole has three thirds, what about 16 of them? So 16 times three. So that is 48 thirds. All together, that should make 50 thirds. So that's option B. Question three, what is 8% as a decimal? So 8% is the same as saying eight pence, writing that with a pound notation, with a pound notation in front, you'd write it as 0. 08. Of course, now this is not money, so we're just going to write it as just 0 0.08. It's not 0 0.8, it's 0 0.08. We've got 12 squared, which is 12 times 12. If you don't know this by heart, that's fine. Just need to multiply. So two lots of two makes four. Two lots of one makes two. Put in the zero down. One times two is two. One times one is one. Add in these four, four, one. So 144 is the answer. Now, what is 7.2857 rounded to two decimal places? So two decimal places means two digits after the decimal point. So this is where we're going to get rid of the five and the seven. But five, any number next to the eight, any digit next to the eight that has the value of five or above will make this go to nine. So we'll round up. So this becomes a nine to seven point two nine. Eight add seven, take away five in brackets, multiplied by three. So we've got bin mass in here. That means we do brackets first. So eight add 
7 take away 5 is 2, and then multiplied by 3. Now, in between addition and multiplication, we'll choose multiplication first, again, using BIDMAS. So we'll go 8 add 2 lots of 3 is 6. That makes 14. What is 2 hours and 38 minutes in minutes? So let's do 2 hours first. In minutes, that is 60 and 60, 120 minutes. And then we've got 38 minutes. So 158 minutes in total. What is two fifths of 300 meters? Let's find one fifth first. So the total is equal to 300. So 300 divided by 5 will give us one fifth. That is 60. So there are six fives into 30, then into zero, there are zero ones. So that makes 60. So each one of these parts is equal to 60, including this one. What about two of them? That is 60 and 60, which is 120. So 120 meters. Which one of these lists of decimals is in increasing order going up? So we're starting with the smallest and going to the highest. Looking at the first row, we've got 0 0.401. 0 0.42, 0 0.503, 0 0.59. So the first digit for all of them is zero, so we can't place them in order based on that. Looking at the second digit, which is after the decimal point, we've got a four, four, five, and five. So that means the ones with the fours are smaller. Now, comparing these first two, looking at the next digit, I've got a zero here. And we've got a two here. So that means this is the smallest, even though it has another digit after the zero that has an even smaller value. So that is the smallest value out of them, four. Then the second one is this one. And the third is out of the last two. Let's compare. Third digit is zero here and third digit is nine here. So that means this is the third one and this is the final one. So basically, A is the correct option. which is a plan view of the object shown. Plan means looking at it from the top. So we've got having a look at them, got two, top and then another two and then one here. So that is actually option D. Question 11. The community center projects films onto a screen. The manager wants to make a board around the screen. She needs to order the wood. And there we have the screen. What length of wood does she need to order? 
So we can see the length being two meters. So this other length will be two meters. We've got the width being 1.2. So this side will be 1.2 meters as well. So we'll go around to add all of these. We've got two meters. Add two. That gives us four. Got one point two and another one point two, which gives us two point four. So adding to that four gives us six point four meters. Question 12. A sports club needs to replace the sand in a long jump pit. The groundsman works out the capacity of the long jump pit to order enough sand. What amount of sand does he order? Put units on your answer. As we're looking at capacity, we're going to work out the volume of the jump pit. So we've got the dimensions, 8 metres, 3 metres and 0 0.5 metres. So we'll multiply them all three together. So 8 times 3 times 0 0.5. 8 times 3 is 24 times 0 0.5. When you multiply a number by 0 0.5, it means you half in it. So half of 24 is actually 12. But if you want to work it out the long way, you could still do so. So 12 cubic meters. And this is the end of the section.